major domains of the earth. Our earth has a unique distinction of being at a reasonable distance from the sun. The earth as such provides a suitable environment which is favorable for the origin and substance of all types of life. Human life, plant life and animal life. Study at a glance. Major domains of the earth Lithosphere Atmosphere Hydrosphere Biosphere Major domains of the earth The life zone on the earth's surface is known as biosphere. Biosphere is dependent on lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. These are known as the domains of the earth. The major domains of the earth are lithosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere. Lithosphere The solid portion of the earth is termed as lithosphere. It comprises of the rocks of earth's crust. It also has a shallow layer of soil that contains nutrient elements necessary for all types of organisms. There are two main divisions of the earth's surface. The large land masses are known as the continents. The ocean basins contain large water bodies. Continents and oceans differ from each other in their relative levels. Level of sea water remains the same everywhere. It is called sea level. The continents have an average depth of 3,500 meters in oceans. The highest point on continents is 8,848 meters in the form of Mount Everest in Nepal, while the deepest depth is 11,022 meters in the form of Marina Trench in the Pacific Ocean. The continents. Land mass of large extent are called continents. There are seven continents on the earth. These are Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australia, Antarctica. Asia. Asia is the largest continent. It covers about one third of the local land area of the earth. Asia lies in the Eastern Hemisphere. It is separated from Europe by Ural Mountain on the west. The combined land mass of Asia and Europe is called Eurasia. Africa Africa is the second largest continent after Asia. Equator runs almost through the middle of this continent. The wider part of Africa lies in the Northern Hemisphere. It is the only continent which both the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn pass through. The continent is bound on all sides by oceans and seas. The largest hot desert of the world, the Sahara Desert, is situated in Africa. The world's longest river, Nile, flows through Africa. Europe Europe is the second smallest continent. Water bodies bind it on three sides. The Atlantic Ocean lies on the western side, the Arctic Ocean on the northern side and the Mediterranean Sea on the southern side. North America North America is the third largest continent in the world. It is linked with South America by the Panama Isthmus. It lies completely in the northern and western hemisphere. Three oceans surround it. They are Pacific Ocean on the west, the Atlantic Ocean on the east and the Arctic Ocean on the north. South America South America lies mostly in the Southern Hemisphere. It is bounded by the Pacific Ocean on the west, by Atlantic Ocean on the east and by Antarctic Ocean on the south. 
The world's longest mountain range, the Andes, runs through its full length. World's largest river, Amazon, flows through this continent. Australia Australia is the smallest continent in the world. It lies in oceans. There are four major oceans in the world. They are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean. The Pacific Ocean The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. This ocean is larger in area than the combined area of all continents. The Pacific Ocean is surrounded by North America and South America towards the east and Asia and Australia towards the west. The Atlantic Ocean The Atlantic Ocean lies between North America and South America on the western side and Europe and Africa on the eastern side. The Atlantic Ocean has many shipping routes linking the ports on either side of the ocean. The Indian Ocean The Indian Ocean is named after our country, indicating its locational importance at the head of the ocean. The northern part of the Indian Ocean is surrounded by Africa to the west, Asia to the north and Australia to the east. The Arctic Ocean The Arctic Ocean in the North Polar region is the smallest ocean. It is almost completely surrounded by land mass. The water remains frozen almost throughout the year. Major landforms. The land mass has different types of landforms. These are generally grouped into mountains, plateaus, plains. The mountains. A mountain is a huge land mass which rises above the general level of the surrounding areas. Mountains usually rise above the height of 900 meters from the surface of the earth. Several mountains merge together to form a chain or a range. The Himalayan range, the Alps and the Andes mountains are some examples of mountains. Mountains are areas of dense vegetation which further provide homes for animals. Forests are rich reserves of timber. The plateaus, an extensive area of high elevation Rising steeply from the surrounding lowland is a plateau. Some plateaus have steep slope on one side only and gentler slopes on other sides. For example, the Deccan Plateau in India has a steep slope towards the west and a gentle slope towards the east. The plateau of Tibet is the highest plateau. Plateaus are very rich in mineral deposits. Lava plateaus are rich farming areas as they are made up of fertile black soil. Plains, extensive lowlands with a relatively flat or level surface are called plains. Plains which are located along the coast are called coastal plains. Most of the rivers in their lower courses. The northern plains of India are formed by such alluvial deposition by the Ganga and its tributaries. Atmosphere The earth is surrounded by an envelope of air. This is called atmosphere. The atmosphere is very dense near the surface of the earth and as we go above the surface, the atmosphere becomes thinner. The air has weight and as such it exerts pressure on the earth's surface. This push of the atmosphere on the Earth's surface is known as atmospheric pressure. Pressure varies from place to place. The difference in air pressure makes the air move. Moving air is known as wind. 
atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen. They both make up about 99% of clean, dry air. Nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21%. Other gases like carbon dioxide, argon and others comprise 1% by volume. Oxygen is the breath of life, while nitrogen helps in growth of living organisms. Carbon dioxide absorbs heat radiated by the earth and keeps the surface of the earth warm. The density of atmosphere varies with height. It is highest at sea level. It decreases rapidly with increase in height. The temperature extends up to a height of about 1600 kilometers. The atmosphere is divided into five layers based on composition, temperature and other properties. They are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Hydrosphere The Greek word hydro means water. There are vast areas on the earth's surface which are covered with water. Water covers 71% of the earth's surface. The major water bodies like oceans, seas, lakes, ponds, etc. constitute hydrosphere. The earth is called the blue planet because it is the only planet so far which has water. It looks blue from the sky because of water on it. Biosphere Biosphere is the narrow zone of contact between land, water and air comprising all forms of life. There are several species of organism in the biosphere. They vary in size from microbes and bacteria to huge mammals. The organisms found in the biosphere are broadly divided into plant kingdom and animal kingdom. The four realms of the earth interact with each other and affect one another in some way or the other. The biosphere has a huge variety of organisms. The organisms vary in size. The smallest grass to the tallest tree grows on it. Any change in the environmental conditions affects all forms of life. Animals and plants adapt themselves to the environmental conditions. The earth provides a suitable environment for human beings to live. We grow our food from the land. The land also provides us with a variety of minerals. We build our shelter or houses on the surface of the earth. Rivers and other water bodies provide water for our requirements. River water is also used for generation of hydroelectricity. Plants and animals provide us food and raw material for our industries. The rapid increase in population has resulted in the depletion of soil minerals and forests. Forests have been cleared for settlement and cultivation. There are other human activities which have resulted in air and water pollution. Thermal power plants and other factories emit smoke which pollutes rivers and lakes. In this way, our environment is being degraded by various human activities. Environmental degradation can be checked by taking suitable measures. They are, soil erosion has to be controlled. Degradation of forests to be checked by planting more and more trees. Summary, the earth has four major domains. 